Time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. It's jubilation uh, from the governor-elect and the All Progressives Congress as the final declaration has been made by the returning officer, Professor Farouk Adamu, who is the vice chancellor of the Federal University of Technology, MINA. Former governor of Edo State, Adam Zoshomole, and president of the Senate, Godswill Akpabio, as well as governors of the APC, were present in Benin City to celebrate the outcome. Party APC, 291,667 votes. Party ABGA, 1,242 votes. Party APM, 151 votes. That Akwebola Monday of APC, having satisfied the requirement of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Now, President Bola Tinubu has directed security and law enforcement agencies to intensify efforts in cracking down on individuals involved in trafficking stolen vehicles. In a statement by Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Ononuga, Nigeria will continue to work with its international partners to ensure that organized crime groups involved in transnational car theft are deprived of the benefits of their activities. The president acknowledged the recent handover of 53 vehicles and $180,300 by the EFCC to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police on behalf of two Canadian citizens who were victims of cybercrimes by Nigerian nationals. President Tinubu also directed all relevant agencies, particularly the anti-corruption agencies, to protect Nigeria's economic and financial integrity from organized crime infiltration. The statement also reads, and I quote, Nigeria is not a destination for stolen vehicles, nor uh, is it a haven for illicit wealth from foreign countries. End of quote. The president says his administration remains committed to tackling money laundering, cybercrime, and other financial crimes. Outside Nigeria, Israel and Hezbollah have threatened to increase their cross-border attacks and international appeals for them to step back from an all-out war. Israel's military said about 150 rockets, missiles, and other projectiles were fired at its territory overnight on Saturday and early on Sunday. Israel launched its own strikes on targets in southern Lebanon, which it said destroyed thousands of Hezbollah's rocket launchers. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel would take, quote, whatever action is necessary to restore security, end of quote, and return people safely to their homes along the Israel-Lebanon border. United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres told CNN to that he feared the possibility of transforming Lebanon into another Gaza. The UN Special Coordinator in Lebanon also mentioned that the Middle East was on the brink of an imminent catastrophe.